Uh, this is just a real quick thing. Gallup poll, and this is a good thing, that every year they ask people in one of their polls, when you retire, how much do you think Social Security is going to be in your retirement income? Is it going to be a majority, a little bit, or not very much? How important is it going to be to you? The most important line there is the one in the middle. It's a light blue line. And that there, people are saying it's going to be a majority important part of their retirement income. And it's now at its highest level ever. Uh, as you can see. The top line is, it's going to be part of my income is coming down. And of course, not much of my income is going down as well. So it tells us that people are paying more attention to Social Security. They know it's going to be a more important part of the retirement because we don't have the pensions and we don't have the savings because wages have been flat over the last 25 or 30 years. So it gives us the opportunity to, do, to advocate for a better Social Security and expanded Social Security program. Like Medicare, we have some folks who don't think like us. Uh, there's a congressman from Texas, sorry Linda, named Kevin Brady, who is chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, took over Paul Ryan's slot, and he has a bill. First, he raised the age to 70 for your full benefits. So we have Ryan saying, let's raise Medicare to 67, and Brady saying Social Security to 70. Whatever happened to looking out for working people in this country uh, as well. Then they'd means test it. They'd look at your other income and say, if you're making too much money on your other sources, we're going to cut your benefits. Well, remember, these they do it now for Medicare. But on Social Security, this is our money. You know, it's like an insurance policy. If you buy $100,000 worth of life insurance, if you make $50,000 a year or a million dollars a year, you pay the same premium for the same benefit. That's the same concept of insurance and Social Security. They want to change that. Uh, and then, of course, they want to put in the lower CPI formula as well. So that's issues that we in the Alliance, beyond budget on the legislation, we're going to have to look out for uh, this year as well. But to summarize, if the retirement crisis, we have fewer pensions, the Great Recession, a lot of people lost home equity, and a lot of parts of the country haven't brought that equity back. The 401k promise has not been fulfilled. Real wages lower, <clears throat> lost jobs, and of course, uh, lingering effects of the recession as well. So what we're doing is we've got to be active. Uh, the Pew people did a poll saying most Americans don't know these Medicare changes that are being proposed as well. And when they learn about them, they get really angry. So we know if we educate, we can turn people to see how wrong some of these ideas are. What we did over the winter, and it kind of surprised us because in a large part of the country over the holidays and the winter, retirees are busy with families or the weather's not good, but we had an outburst after the election of activism uh, this year as well, both online, sending you um, a letter saying, send this to your congressman or senator or show up at his or her office uh, this year. We did over 120 office meetings in the winter did 20,000 phone calls, uh, did some marches, got on television as well. So it's telling us there's a real heartbeat out there to take action against some of these things. Uh, we have signs that we take to the offices where I worked, and you fill in the number of years, 49 years for my Medicare, keep your hands off of it, basically, uh, as well. And protests around, oh, there's one in San Antonio. I wonder who was there, uh, for example. Hartford, Connecticut, Columbus, uh, all around the country on uh, hands-off Social Security and Medicare. Elected officials, too, want to hear stories. They want to hear, they don't want to see numbers on a sheet, what these policies, what these programs do to real people. So we're collecting stories. We have a lot of our members go when we get a call from Capitol Hill or in the state capitol saying, Give us a senior who can tell us a story about Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid, for example. It's on our website. So please, if you have ideas or stories, let us know. Uh, we will use them. So in the end, how, I'm sorry, I had to put up his name. How do we resist uh, these people? Educate, organize, do what we've done all our working lives, mobilize. And most important, uh, especially coming up this year and next year, is voter protection. We have to be on top of a lot of these laws on voter protection because seniors in a lot of states 
are doubly affected because if you don't have a driver's license and you need some sort of government ID, then you'd be paying a lot of money or taking, I know in Philadelphia, two or three buses to get to the DMV office that the Republican governor moved, uh, for example. Or if you're a woman and your name changed because of marriage, trying to get old birth certificates and the like there, barriers have been put up to make people not vote. And those are the walls that we have to work on and, and bring down as well. Uh, we've had a couple of good court decisions here and there, but reversing those laws, overturning them, is the best way to fight. So we're the only country in the world where one political party has a policy of suppressing the vote, the only democracy in the world where that is their policy, for example. So, uh, again, take action, spread the word. It starts in your homes and your communities. Find out your local alliance. We're working uh, uh, every day, someplace doing something or the other in the state capital, local community or in the state, or Washington as well. You know, use the Facebook, use our um, fact sheets as well. But the one thing we can't do, as we've heard today from everyone, is nothing. Because if we don't do nothing, then these crazy ideas that we thought of a couple years ago on Social Security and Medicaid and Medicare are one step closer to becoming law. And what we worked for in our working lives all those years for ourselves and the generations after us is in deep, deep danger. So again, I want to thank Carolyn for inviting us again. Uh, look forward to seeing you the rest of the afternoon, and uh, God bless. Thanks.